hello uh, everyone uh, welcome to another uh, tutorial uh, we have uh, an, our new tutorial about uh, mysql uh, installation uh, from rpms bundles uh, mysql 8 we are going to install uh, we are using mysql uh, rpm bundle because uh, sometimes in uh, most of the organization uh, we are not allowed to use uh, this internet so internet is not allowed on your uh, servers so that's why you need rpms to install your server uh, to install your mysql server and so from where you can install your uh, mysql uh, if you go to references manual uh, go to mysql 8 uh, same as the previous one installation and upgrades uh, here you can see uh, installation on linux and from here you can see this rpm packages from oracle uh, this have provided everything uh, this also provide the whole uh, how can you can install and what is required to installation but uh, let me go through give you a go through to give you an examples uh, uh, how you can install it uh, from uh, through this tutorial uh, we are going to download for red hat linux or oracle uh, linux uh, and we are going to install uh, on 64 bit uh, and uh, uh, Linux 7 because I'm using CentOS 7 so this you can download click on the download and no thanks I just start my download once you click this you will start to download and you can copy this uh, downloaded files to your uh, virtual machine uh, if you can see here uh, I have downloaded uh, here uh, this is my uh, MySQL uh, tar file I have uh, I think uh, I need to change uh, this appearance uh, of my uh, because uh, this uh, let me go to settings and change the font because uh, the font is uh, not uh, big. I think uh, it is somewhere in this uh, settings. I guess preferences and we have here is the custom fonts. Uh, let me change it to I guess 18 will be okay okay close yeah so this is uh, quite big now and I guess uh, you guys can see the screen and if I just say clear and this is what we have uh, currently uh, I'm able to access the internet and for uh, your uh, this demo I will disable uh, my internet services so you guys uh, can uh, guess uh, that uh, I'm not uh, using the internet here so let me uh, tell you guys uh, let me disable the internet first uh, let's do it let's system uh, CTL uh, stop network so now uh, my network is stopped and uh, I cannot ping uh, the network is not reachable uh, let's say if I check the status of my network it's dead uh, you can see it here it's inactive and it's dead uh, let's clear uh, clear the screen okay so now what I have to do is uh, that I have to uh, remove uh, my RDB lips because uh, this will uh, create uh, uh, depending or uh, this will create conflicts uh, when I install the MySQL uh, uh, RPMs. So we have to remove it. Uh, I'm giving the uh, minus Y option uh, so that it does not require any uh, permissions. Uh, but I it will not ask me if uh, I want to do that, and either it will for every uh, question uh, this ask it will provide the answer as yes. So this is how you remove it because. Uh, now this is removed uh, we don't have uh, uh, this uh, MyRDB lives now so let's uh, untar this file uh, minus uh, xvf and we have mysql so now uh, we have untar this file and we will install uh, the packages one by one uh, let's ll let me clear so you can see these are the rpms uh, i have I have in, uh, you ha I have to install all of these RPMs and I will do it in a sequence uh, so please follow the sequence what I am going to do uh, because uh, uh, these uh, RPMs is having some dependent dependency on each other so I will do it in a sequence uh, so they don't uh, get so we don't get into any error uh, we will not install all of them just like we don't need to install the test and we don't need to install the embedded uh, pack and we don't need to install this devil as well so if I uh, take you to this MySQL installation uh, just a minute just a moment here you will see that it requires a few of this uh, 
MySQL RPM, this is MySQL community server, uh, community client and community libs, uh, community common, uh, MySQL community lib compact. So these are all required to be installed, and we can we will install those one by one. Uh, you can install it using yum, or we can install it using RPM uh, RPM package. So we, I'm going to install it using RPM package as uh, IVH. And the first one I'm going to install is uh, uh, MySQL common eight. Uh, this one, uh, let's copy this and paste it oh i think there's some pro i don't know what. okay uh, leave it like this rpm minus ivh uh, mysql community and i'm going to install the common in this one okay so now this is installed clear the screen one is installed and let's do it another one rpm minus ivh next i'm going to install is mysql community client Oh, sorry client plugins okay uh, let's install this one after this I'm going to install my SQL uh, community libs okay so libs is uh, libs 8 I'm going to install this one uh, this one is installed let me clear the screen here so you guys can see what I'm going to do uh, rpm minus uh, ivh next is my SQL uh, libs this is compact Okay, this one is also done. Let me do it. Uh, RPM minus AVH MySQL community. Uh, now we're going to install the client. So the client we have is eight. Uh, that's it. Okay, this is only taking some time. Okay, let me clear the screen now. Uh, the last one uh, now, I guess yes. Uh, the last one we have is MySQL uh, server okay so this one is the last one this one will take some time uh, I will uh, pause the video here and come back to you guys once this installation is done okay so our uh, MySQL server installation has been done uh, now uh, let's start our MySQL server uh, start MySQL D so this will start our MySQL server and then once it started I will let you know uh, what is the status of our MySQL server okay so this might take uh, around 30 to 1 minute 30 seconds to 1 minute okay so this has been done uh, let's check our status here now so the status is running our mysql server is running now what all we have to do is uh, to grab the password uh, from uh, our uh, uh, error, error log files so let's uh, check from there let's get slash war slash lib because we need this temporary password to log into our uh, MySQL server, so for that we need our temporary password. Okay, so let's just form MySQL dot uh, log. What's happening? Here? Sorry, not inside the lib. It's war slash log slash MySQL, and let's uh, grab the password. So this is our password. Uh, we are going to use uh, to log into our uh, MySQL server for the first time. Uh, let me clear the screen. And okay, so let's do it. Uh, MySQL minus u root, and then minus p, and let me paste it here so you guys can know this. So after minus p my password starts and this is uh, our first uh, time login to our mysql server so once you first time uh, log into mysql server you are not allowed to do any query less like i do show databases uh, show databases your password uh, uh, must be reset before uh, doing any query on the mysql server uh, so for that uh, we have to uh, alter our uh, root user alter user uh, uh, root so we have to uh, alter our root user at because the user er is at localhost so this is our user uh, we will say that identified by i hope the spelling is okay <laughs> identified by strong pass I'm giving us very strong password so, uh, so it will uh, like uh, it will be accepted by uh, this uh, password plugin we have I'm giving it this so now the password has been changed and if I now run the query like show databases uh, so this will let me uh, do the query so this is how uh, you install your mysql server once uh, you don't have the inter access to the internet uh, and it will take care of all 
uh, your uh, user permission the directories and everything and it will also create uh, this uh, uh, mysql configuration file which we have it inside this uh, etc uh, my.cnf if i get it so this is your data directory where uh, mysql store all your data and this is the socket file which is required uh, to connect uh, if you want to connect to the MySQL server using socket file, this is the error log file, uh, and this is our password. Uh, the sorry password. This is our process for ID file. And if I uh, go to this location, uh, our data directory location, this one, uh, I can see. You can see, guys. Let me clear it. Yeah, uh, this is our uh, directory uh, where MySQL store all this information all the data files and all the uh, log files so this is our auto configuration file which stores the unique server ID uh, binary log file the index and our uh, uh, log files uh, buffer log file this is a change buffer file so this is a uh, system table space data file uh, log files read log files and uh, uh, MySQL uh, schema and this is uh, a temp session temporary uh, NODB like uh, temporary uh, table space uh, per se session wise and this is our uh, uh, global temporary table space uh, socket uh, socket file uh, and performance schema we have uh, this is our system sys schema this is our undo data file so th this uh, that's it for today uh, this is how you can install your MySQL server in case you don't have the internet access uh, and you can install it uh, using RPM bundles. Please uh, like and share uh, and subscribe to uh, our uh, YouTube channel uh, so you don't miss the upcoming future videos and please share it or with your circle uh, to increase uh, to uh, increase the com our community and to help our community. Thank you guys so much.